Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 21C, which says create a new web page that looks like this and has the caption colors. So our job now is to learn how to create a table on a web page. Okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is to open our um, notepad. Okay? So I've already got the structure of uh, the web page here. So I'm going to start um, inserting my tables. But before I do that, I'm going to go to save my web page as tax print one c Okay, so I'm going to create a new folder for task task print one print one c and then inside it I'm going to save my web page right there. So I'm gonna have task print one print one uh, c of course .htm or html whichever one you prefer so i'm going to save that okay so the first thing i want to do is to first of all we we have to realize that the tables here it's i mean sorry the table has three rows okay and then it has about uh, two uh, for each row it has two data two table data the red and the 36 percent and green and 23 percent so what i'm going to do is simply of course, uh, what we're going to do is on the body, okay? So everything has to contain within a tag, table tag, okay? So I'm going to have table tag, and then of course end it with table tag, okay? Okay, so everything is going to contain within the table tag. So the first thing is to create the caption. So we're going to use the tag, the caption tag for the color, for the caption, okay? So I'm going to have uh, caption, sorry, caption. Of course, we're going to see what it, it, it does. So we're going to have, uh, sorry, what am I doing? Colors, okay. And then, of course, I'm going to close the caption. So I'm going to have caption. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so that's it right here. Okay, so that's, that's for the caption. Now, within a table, the table has about three rows, right? So, we're going to use the TR tag for the three rows. So, I'm going to have the TR, okay? And then I'm going, I'm going to end that here. I'm going to have TR again, TR again. So, this will take care of the first row, okay? And of course, so I'm going to have about three rows, okay? So, I'll copy this and then paste it here. Copy again, I mean paste again. So we have about three rows. According to the question, we have about three rows. Okay. So this is the first row. This is the second row. Of course, opening and I mean open tag and then closing tag. And then we'll have the uh the third row. Okay. So within each row, we have about two table data. Okay, within each row, we have two table data from the question here. Okay, so within each row, we have about two table data, which are the red and the 36% and the green and the 23% and so on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to create the, the, the table data, which we're going to use the TD. Okay, this is the TD tag, which will represent the table data within the table. So I'm going to have, um, the, I'm going to have this. I'm going to close it right here. Um, T, yeah, that's it. Okay. So that is the, for the first row. Okay. So we have to. So this is for the first one. So I'm going to have for the second one. So I'm going to have T D again for the second data. Okay. So I'm going to have plus T D. So let me just uh, do this. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're going to have for the first row, okay? So we're going to repeat the same thing. So I'm going to just copy this for the second row. So I'm going to just go here, enter, then paste it right here. And then, of course, the third row. Uh, let me see. Um, okay, no, this one, this one is for the first row. This is the first row. And then the second row, sorry. I think I made a mistake here. So I'm going to just to cut uh, that and then go here so this is for the second row and then of course the third row starts here 
and then ends here. So, okay. So this is how it will look like. So this is for the first row. Okay. So we have two table data inside. So what I'm going to do here is to insert my data. So the first uh, data will be 20. Well, no, not 20. What's that? So red and 36%. So I'm going to have red here. And I'm going to have um, 36%. 36% right there. Okay, so that's for the first uh, the first uh, column and the second column, more or less, something like that. Okay, so the TD, the, the second table data will be the green and 23%. So I'm going to have green here. So I'm going to have green here. Sorry. And then have, I'm going to have 23%. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this. Let me just um, preview what we are what we've done okay so um with my file so i'm going to go to my file chapter sorry not chapter 21 i'm going to go to web design then locate my file to that's 2021 c and then preview that and see how it looks like so of course as you can see we are getting it so red and then 36 percent and green and 23 percent okay so, so what is remaining now is the third, um, the third, the third uh, data, okay, in the third row. So the row is already there, but of course you may not be able to see because of the border. So what I'm going to do, in fact, let me add border. As a matter of fact, let me add border within our table and see how it's going to look like. So I'm going to go to just directly on table. So I'm going to go to the, the opening tab of table, and then I'm going to have a border right there. Just to have border because there's no border right there. So I'm going to have border equals. So I'm going to have um, this. So let me just make it one. Okay. Just to make it big. So I'll save that and then refresh that to be able to see the border. As you can see, so there are three there are, there are three rows already. But the last row, there's no data inside that. Okay. So there's no data inside that. So I'm going, I'm going to go back to our code. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply go to the third row which is here this is the third row so in the table data the td uh, tag i'm going to have uh, the the data, the data yeah the blue so i'm going to uh, put blue there and then preview and then you see how it looks like so i'm going to have blue and then save it and then go back to my browser and then refresh as you can see blue is already there so what is remaining is the last the last uh what is what is the 41 okay so the last data which is 41 41 okay but one percent but one percent okay so i'm going to save that again and go back to my browser and then you see that the, the table um, has shown okay so this is what we mean to, this is what uh we are expected to do okay so in subsequent uh, lessons, I'm going to show you how you can collapse the table so that the line, you will not have this double line at the border of the table, okay? So, but this is exactly what you are meant to do. So in further um, lessons, you will see how we can adjust the table to look the way you want them, okay? Or the way you expect them to be, all right? So this is it for the table. So just take note of how the table, uh, how we made the the rules so we have the first row here with the data inside the first data and second data and then the, the second row and then the third row of course we made the table we so that the, the border will show so if i remove this piece of code here let me just cut it okay and then save my my page oh uh, yeah save that and then go back to my page and then uh refresh and then you see that the borders will leave okay so if i go back again to add the border so so let me just go back to the opening tag on the table and then add the border and then save it again and then refresh my page you will see that the border will show so in the subsequent lessons you will see how you can manipulate the table more okay so thank you so much uh, i will see you in the next video all right bye